Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're looking at binomial distributions, broccoli and mini tab express. According to a national survey, 27% of Americans hate broccoli. This qualifies us as a binomial distribution because you either hate broccoli, 27%, or you don't hate broccoli, the other 73%. We've taken a sample of 40 Americans that gives us an N of 40 or 40 trials. Now we want to know a couple of probabilities. The first one is what's the probability that seven or fewer people out of our survey hate broccoli? Because we are seven or fewer, that translates into the probability that X is less than or equal to seven. And we also want to know, well, what's the probability that 12 or more people hate broccoli? So that's a greater than or equal to we use that equal to because we want to include the 12 in our calculation and the equal to here because we want to include our 7 in our calculation. So watch carefully what we're going to use for the input value when we use the CDF in Minitab. So here I am back in Minitab and I'm going to come up to statistics and I want this cumulative distribution function and because I'm solving for more than one value, I need to use the cumulative distribution function. Remember, it's always going to find the probability that a value is less than or equal to that specified x value. So let's see what we have. So I have a single value, and I know I want the binomial, and I know I had a trials of 40, and I had an event probability of 0.27, but I need to stop and think about what value I put here. So in my first question, or my first uh, thing I was wondering about, I wanted the probability of seven or fewer. So what I need is the probability from seven, I mean from zero, to seven. And because I want to know seven or fewer, I have this equal to sign. That means I want to include the probability of seven in my calculation. Because I have this equal to here, I'm going to use my value in the CDF as equal to seven. Minitab naturally solves from my value of x down to zero. So I'm not going to have to subtract anything. I'm just going to be able to use the probability that Minitab generates for me. So we decided that our value was 7. And everything looks OK, so we'll hit OK. And what Minitab tells us is that the cumulative probability that we would have 7 or fewer people who said they liked broccoli would be 11.72% roughly rounded. So what about the other question we posed, the probability of 12 or more? So before I get started, I'm going to think about this for a second. So I'm looking for the probability of 12 or more, which means I want to include 12. So what that looks like is if I look at my binomial experiment as every value of x from 0 all the way up to 40, and I want the probability of 12 or more. We'll put here x equals 12. So what I want is I want from 12 all the way up to 40. But our CDF in Minitab solves going this direction. But that's okay because I know that what is here is 11. And I also know that the probability from 0 to 11 plus the probability from 12 to 40, this probability plus this probability has got to equal 1. So for my value, I'm going to input this 11. I'm going to let Minitab solve from 11 to 0. I'm going to get this probability. I'm going to subtract it from 1. That's going to give me what I need. So I'm up at the CDF, cumulative function. We have a single value. We decided what we wanted was 
11. We want to get rid of from 0 to 11 to leave us from 12 to 40. We've got a binomial distribution with 40 trials and a probability of success of 27%. We say OK. We have this probability that we know is from 11 down to 0. And because I wanted the probability that x was greater than or equal to 12, I'm simply going to take 1 minus that 0 0.608197. And when I do that math, I end up with 0 0.3918. 1803, which I'm going to simplify to be 39.18%. And now I know that the probability of having 12 or more people who say they hate broccoli is 39.18%. A good rule of thumb is to remember that when using Minitab and this cumulative distribution function, when you're solving for a greater than or a greater than or equal to, you're always going to have to subtract your mini tab result from 1 in order to get the right hand side of that distribution. I hope that you found this useful and that you have much success with mini tab. And as always, I appreciate your watching.